In this video, I'd like to share with you how I refinished an oak dining room table. After 25 years of use, wood tables can start to show a considerable amount of wear. You'll see things like the wood turning gray, water stains from cold glasses, and even some small scratches. The first thing we have to do is remove all the finishes off this table. The product to do this is called Citri Strip. The main advantage I see of this stuff over the other is there's no harsh fumes. The main component of other strippers is called methylene chloride. And this stuff is absolutely brutal on your sinuses. And even though it doesn't have harsh chemicals, it says it will strip multiple layers. So I decided to test that. This cabinet door had three layers of paint on it. I soaked it for eight hours and all three layers peeled off with no problem whatsoever on the first try. So to apply, first we shake it up real well. Then, using a brush, apply a liberal coating over the entire surface that you want to strip. Cover the entire surface of the table as well as the outside edges. And since we're leaving the stripper on overnight, here's a little trick to keep it from drying out. We cover it with plastic, specifically cellophane. However, don't make this mistake. Don't leave any air bubbles underneath the plastic. If you do, when you come out the next morning, this is what it'll look like. You'll find that when you peel the plastic off, the places where there are air pockets, the stain actually stripped differently. And these bubbles will show up in your wood after you pull the stripper off. Don't worry, we can fix this problem just by sanding. But it's easier to avoid creating the problem in the first place. Now let's grab a scraper and remove all this finish. Remember to always scrape with the grain of the wood. And I found it's easier if you have two scrapers, one to pull the stuff off the first scraper. Now we want to pull all that old solvent and finish off the tabletop. You can see the stripper was pink and the stuff we pulled off the tabletop is a dark brown. That's all the finishes from the wood. Oh yeah, don't forget to pull all the finishes off the side of the table as well. After we've cleaned the paint stripper off the table, the instructions on the back of the paint stripper state to use a paint stripper wash to loosen the remaining residual and then mineral spirits to prepare the surface for painting. The surface should be completely clean and dry before refinishing. Okay, I know I'll probably catch some flack in the comments section, but I actually reversed this order. First I used the mineral spirits, then I used the wash. And here's why. When you buy a bottle of mineral spirits, it also has another name. Most people call it paint thinner. It's actually a petroleum product that thins oil-based paints, stains, and varnishes. So when you start putting this stuff onto your wood with a rag, you'll notice that it'll do a pretty good job of cleaning up the wood. It also soaks into the wood. So, since the stain I'm using is also oil-based, I want to remove the mineral oil so that my stain oil can take its place. This is where an afterwash comes into place. The afterwash will remove all the stripping residuals from the wood grain, making room for your stain to get in there. But pay very close attention to this warning. Danger, extremely flammable, poison. So please don't drink this stuff and make sure you use it in a well-ventilated area. Okay, let's get to doing some cleaning. You want to use a lot of clean towels. I just cut up old bathroom towels. It seems to work perfectly fine for me. Again, go with the grain of the wood. Here you can see how much stuff the mineral oil actually pulls out of the wood. Either fold the cloth over or get a new one. And continue cleaning. If you have an expanding table, Make sure you pull it apart and clean all the stuff that slipped down into the sleeve cracks. After cleaning the entire table with your mineral oil, go back over it again with your afterwash. Okay, now it's time to take care of all those blemishes in the wood. It's going to be items like the marks left by the air bubbles in our stripping cellophane, stains from water glasses, and even small scratches. To do this, we're going to be using an orbital sander, sometimes called a finishing sander. Much of the furniture out there isn't solid wood. It's like a press board with a real thin layer of nice wood attached to it. So while sanding, we want to leave as much of this nice wood as possible. Start out by using a really fine sandpaper around 240 grit. 
the numbers written right on the back of the sandpaper. If this doesn't work, you can go up to 120, but be very gentle. I know it sounds backwards, but the lower the number on the sandpaper, the more aggressively it will remove wood. An orbital sander does a great job of vibrating the sandpaper. All you have to do is gently move the sander back and forth. Let the machine do the work. Notice I am still going with the grain of the wood as much as I can. After sanding, you want to get all that sawdust off there. A nice clean dry rag may work, or if you have compressed air, that'll work. Okay, it's time to put stain on. The stain is a Minwax product called Golden Oak 210 Bravo. Use a brush to apply a very liberal coating to the table. Now I'm deliberately applying more stain than I know the wood will take. This will give the wood time to soak up some of the stain, and then we'll wipe off the excess. After the stain has dried, you want to apply at least three coats of fast drying polyurethane. You may be tempted to take a shortcut and try this special triple thickness polyurethane. Don't do it. This stuff is useless. I just keep this can around for whenever I get around to making my useless things video. Anyway, use a stir stick to gently mix the polyurethane before each application. You want to use a nice brush. Go with the grain and try not to create air bubbles as you're applying it. You'll notice I start from the middle and work my way out. I do this deliberately so that I'm not leaning over freshly applied polyurethane. You want nothing to land in that, like your shirt tail. In between each of your applications, after the polyurethane has dried, gently run across it with some steel wool. I use a very fine mesh steel wool. This gets rid of all the little air pockets and imperfections, and prepares the table for the next coating. After the steel wooling, I think that's a word, Wipe the table down with a damp rag, then apply your next coat. There you have it, one refinished dining room table. It looks considerably better than before we started. Thanks for watching.